Now our TAP program is called Transition Goals Plan Success, or commonly referred to as TGPS. Uh, this program became a more comprehensive program that actually centers on a set of career readiness standards. Uh, these career readiness standards are developed to help our service members, in this case our sailors, to prepare for success uh, in life, career life after the military. Uh, some of the standards include standards in academics, uh, employment, financial preparedness, as well as guidance to ensure you have all of the resources you need uh, when you get out of the military. Some of the career uh, readiness standards that you will go through as you transition out uh, will be a little bit different depending upon retirement or if you're just separating from the Navy. During the capstone event, you will actually sit down with your uh, fleet and family transition coordinator. Uh, he, he or she will look over all of the work that you've done, uh, all of the modules that you've completed from the time you took the class until that 90-day mark prior to getting up. Uh, they'll review the budget that you established for you and your family. They'll do a review of your resume, maybe make some tweaks to your resume and help you finalize your resume. Uh, they'll do an assessment of the skills and uh, relate them to how you can relate your military job skills into a civilian life. You probably should start 12 to 24 months out to get started with uh, your transition program. 12 months is the absolute minimum. Uh, they're going to do some one-on-one -on -one counseling. Uh, they're going to enroll you in that class, and we traditionally have those classes here in Naples about once a month. There's something called a capstone event. That has to be completed 90 days prior to getting out, and there's some forms that your career counselor and the Fleet Family Support Center has to sign that actually allows you to transition out of service.